Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Love Attempt Tristan, and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi! Today we're going to be doing another Sky Factory 4 tutorial. But of course it works on most mod packs. This one is on the Vizcraft airships. They are so tiny. This is the one that you have to make for the achievement on Sky Factory 4. But all you have to do is make the first one. You don't have to level it up, but we will go through on how to level it all the way up in case you also want to do that. All right, so let's get started. It takes a lot of components. So to start off with, we're going to need lots of logic chips. And to make those, we're going to take two cobblestone, a piece of redstone in the middle, and three gold nuggets on the bottom. Next, we're going to need airship core. So this we're going to take four iron ingots in the corners, an iron bars in the middle top, two diamonds, a magma block, and a gold ingot. Next we're going to need the balloons. What air balloon could float without a balloon? Definitely not. So this is easy. We're just going to take eight leather all the way around, a piece of string, but we will need several. All right, so next we're going to need the airship core, and we're going to use a minecart in the middle for the logic chips and four iron ingots. Next, we're going to make the airship engine, and for that, we're going to take four iron ingots, two iron bars on the top and bottom, a block of redstone right in the middle, and two pistons. Now, you will need two of those to craft the airship. Now let's craft the airship. For that, we're going to need four of the leads, airship balloon, the airship frame, two of the airship engines, and the airship core. And that gives us the airship. And that is the one that we put out right here. Now the airship you can also pick back up into your inventory simply by left clicking it a couple times. Now we're also going to need fuel before we can fly it. So for that, we're going to take coal and redstone and each one will give us two visceline pellets. I got a stack here so we can try it out. Now when you put this out you're going to shift throw shift right click to kind of throw it out in the world but beware it's going to make an explosion. That is what it's supposed to do so don't freak out it won't actually destroy stuff. Now to get into it you simply right click. And then left shift to dismount like you would in, well, a lot of stuff that you get into in Minecraft. So now to access it, normally you would press R, but if you go to your options and controls, you can either scroll down to where it says, uh, where is it? If we scroll down. Dun dun dun. Iron jetpacks. This craft controls. So you notice a lot of these have um, the red, and when they're red, you can't really use them. But for this one, let's play around and see what we can find. Okay, so numpad 9 works. I already changed the open airship GUI to numpad 6 because that works. So, uh, you might have to play with your controls and find something that works for you. But I wanted you to be aware of that. So I changed my in open inventory to numpad 6, but normally it is R. So this is what you're, is, it's going to look like when you open it up. As you can see here is fuel, so we're simply going to put fuel in there. And once it's fueled, then we can actually go. So it's normally space, but I changed it to nine because mine was uh, not working. X is down. Um, and then you have your typical W for forward, S for back, A and D for right and left. So it's real easy to fly a level one is all you need for the achievement, but a level one doesn't really go very fast. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna level this up and make it go a little bit faster because if you want to actually use it 
to fly with, you know, in pretty early game, then you're going to want to... Uh, you're going to want to increase its speed and everything about it. Now, in order to do this, there's four different modules we have to make. And those are... Um, let's see. Those are fuel, core, frame, and balloon. So let's see how to make those. Now, we have to make a certain piece for each one. So for this one, we need frame casings. And that is going to be three iron bars at the top two logic chips on either side, a gold ingot, and an iron ingot. Now we're going to take those four, and we will need one of these for each level that you upgrade. You can upgrade up to level five. So for this, you're going to take the frame casings, put it on the corners, and most of this recipe stays the same. You're going to put the logic chips on the top and the bottom and the iron ingots on either side and then the airship frame right in the middle and that'll give us our frame upgrade number one so we're going to take that next we need the balloon remnants so for that we're going to need three lever leather on top two logic chips on either side a gold ingot two leather on the corners at the bottom and an iron ingot and since it makes four, then that's, we're going to put all four of those in the four corners, two iron ingots, logic chip, top and bottom, and the airship balloon. And that makes our balloon upgrade tier one. Next, we need to make engine fragments. Now for the engine fragment, we need a logic chip with two iron ingots, a blaze rod, and a gold ingot. Now we're going to take those four and we're going to make the engine upgrade tier one so four engine fragments in the corner the two logic chips top and bottom the iron ingots either side and for this one the airship engine in the middle okay and for the last upgrade we need core shards for this one we're going to need two logic chips an iron ingot three glass and a gold ingot then we're going to take those put them in all four corners Yes, see the recipe stays the same here. For the upgrades, the recipe does stay the same. So then we're going to take the iron ingots on either side and then the airship core in the middle. And then that is all of the cores for upgrade. Now you cannot skip ahead and just skip ahead to tier 2, 3, 5. You have to upgrade them in order. I always forget to shift and throw it out. All right, now another thing we might want to do is access our inventory and take our fuel out while we're not using it okay but here we'll see core frame engine and balloon and that's where we're going to put our upgrades so uh come on oh not there there uh which one and it will turn green. It won't go into the one that it doesn't belong to, so that's not a problem. Now, once they're all green, just click them here, and that will apply the upgrade. Once you have applied the upgrade, then you are good to go. You can actually fly the machine. You have actually... Oh, I took our fuel out. Um, if we put our fuel back in then we can actually fly and you'll notice that it's a little bit faster. That's quite a bit faster if you ask me, right? All right, well, let's go back down or simply get off. If you get off, it will come back down to the ground. So don't freak out, it'll still be fine. But I wanna get back on and We'll pick it up this way. All right, I'm gonna go sleep. I will be right back. Okay, so you'll also notice that when you have it in your inventory, the color changes. Now the color will change depending on what tier you have it. So tier one is iron looking color. And then we have gold, diamond, emerald, and eye of ender. Now I only set one of these out because this recipe is going to stay the same except for what you add to the middle. 
So in order to do tier two, we're going to do it the exact same way we did before, only um, we're going to put gold instead of iron ingots here. So you're going to do that for each of these pieces. And that will upgrade them to level two. Now to do it for level three, you're going to just replace the iron ingots to diamond. For level four, you're going to replace it with emerald. And for level five, you're going to replace it with eye of ender. So these recipes are going to stay the same except for whatever you put on the outside plus the part that you're doing in the middle. So you have to do it for each part, the airship, the core, the engine, and the balloon. But I've already taken some out, so like I said, you, you have to upgrade each level at a time. So let's go ahead and try that. So we've already upgraded to the next level, so if we go ahead and put in the next one, click the buttons again, um, let's see, then you'll see it's quite a bit faster this time. And it's still pretty nice. All right, now let's take her down. And again, we're gonna lift shift to dismount just so I can show you. Now see how the color has changed again. That color will change for whatever tier we have it. So let's go ahead and apply our next upgrade, which is three. Whoops, there we go. And then again, it's just going to continue getting faster and faster. It's going to use less fuel. And it's just going to look so much nicer. And once again, if we pick it up, it is now a blue color. Let's upgrade it to the next level. And wouldn't you know when we pick this one up, can you guess what color it's going to be? If you guessed purple, you would be right. Basically whatever color the upgrade is, figure that's the color that it's going to be. And look how much faster that goes. I know it's not like, oh my gosh, fantabulous, you know, but if you figure that this Oh, I was going to pick it up. That's what I was doing. Um, if you figure that, you know, this is going to be something that you can do a little bit earlier in game before you get flight. And see purple. So the very last tier to upgrade, uh, where you're going to put it in, and well, you guessed it. It's going to be red. So the last tier, you know it is and it all have the check marks here saying that it is max upgraded and now if we take off it goes considerably quite a bit faster pretty cool now you can add stuff like bombs and stuff to it but we're not going to go over that because honestly i don't really see much of a need for it in sky factory 4 but you, i i guess you could so but that's it that is how we do the airship and get it fully upgraded and apply everything. So if you have any questions or comments, anything I haven't covered, or if you'd like to see a tutorial on one that I haven't done yet, then please let me know. And if you're enjoying the content, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel and I appreciate it so very much. Thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time. Until then, this lava temptress don't get burned. Bye!